we going? Let's go this way. Easy. Easy. Thank you. Thank you. Right, come on. Come on. I'm gonna let you go in a minute.
Go get it. Go get it. Go get the stick. Go get it. Go get the stick. Get the stick. Look, there it is. Dog, dog.
Here we go.
Arrête. Hey Dave. How are you doing? Doing alright, how are you? Dog. You're all friggin' wet. In your army fatigues, huh? Waterproof. It's friggin' raining out there. Where's Bob? He's in the room. Has he been out of there lately? Uh, yeah, he comes out to pee. Well, that's good. He hasn't fallen lately. Huh? Dick talked to him for quite a while yesterday. Did he? Yeah, I got a weird call too. Somebody called me last night and he, I said, hello? And he said, hello, I'm returning your call. And I said, what? And he says, yeah, your number uh, came up on my phone. And I said, uh, well, I'm in Lincoln City. He says, I'm in Sandy and I'm just returning the phone call. Uh, well, you know, they spoof. Sometimes they get numbers and they spoof the numbers. Like, I've had numbers come up that said they were people and it's just some, you know, like, hackers or something. Are you kidding me? Why would they hack me? They just pick numbers at random. Uh, the computer just dials numbers, you know. It just starts at zero and goes up to trillion or something. Yeah. Hey dog, let's get Bob up. Get a towel. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. What did he do? He had diarrhea and he went all over his floor and in the hallway and the bathroom. Serious? And he plugged up the bath toilet. And I had to get somebody over here to unclog the toilet. And they said, boy, it was really packed in there. With what? Uh, toilet paper. Bob was using it to clean up, trying to clean up. But I mean, big old puddles of it in the bathroom. I cleaned, I cleaned it all out. How much did they charge you to do that? I did it. Yeah, but I mean to unplug the toilet. Unplug the toilet it was 75. That's not bad. No. But, they uh, usually charge like two I hours. Got, uh, people coming over tomorrow to clean up the floor, you know, to get that poop out of oh the my floor. God. It's a fucking mess. I, got I wonder why he had the shits. He just had it the other day when, uh, well, three days ago when all of a sudden he started going crazy on tomato juice, hot tomato juice, yeah. hot and spicy. And he had me pick up a couple tubs of, uh, uh, what's that called, the white stuff in a... Mayonnaise? No, it's a milk powder. Yogurt? Huh? Yogurt? No. Come here, you rascal. Quit shaking yourself off. Anyway, off. God has stuck the high heaven in there. Oh, my God. You can imagine, you know. What? He's going to have to be in a nursing home pretty soon, I think. It fucking sucks. You know, the fucking trouble. He said he wants to go up there to the Dorchester, but that's really expensive. You know that thing at the end of the road there? Yeah. I told him, well, that's a retirement home. It's not a nursing home. You got to be well to be there. Well, there's that other place too in Roseburg. That's a rehab. Yeah. That won't do. Well, that would be a good place, but he won't go there, I don't think. Well, I know he won't. So I tried everything to get him to stay there at the hospital that night. He wouldn't do it.
Yeah. The doctor even promised him right in front of him that he would give him some really good drugs and that he Did wouldn't. Did you get the pharmacy the prescription yeah. for that? It's magnesium. Dog, come here. All it is is magnesium. Is that all? Yeah. And the, well, I read the whole thing to Bob, the whole deal that said they really couldn't find anything wrong with him, except he was low on magnesium and he's got anorexia. So beyond that, I can't believe and it. And it said severe alcoholism, anorexia, but physically he wasn't that bad. Can you believe that? No. I told the doctor, I said, well, I know for a fact he hasn't eaten in a month. He said, well, he just lays around all day and doesn't do anything, so he doesn't burn up any energy. I can't believe it, but he's sure losing a lot. He looks almost like those uh, people in those Nazi war. Camps. Well, that's what I told him up there. I said, you're all skinny and you have a big stomach. But that was two weeks ago. I haven't but been that here. that doctor we've seen, he was no help to me at all. He says, oh, he looks okay to me. He looks like a 65-year-old. Well, I'm sorry you didn't know what he looked like before this. <laughs> I told him I thought he looked like he was 90. He doesn't look, I mean, I guess there's a lot of 65-year-olds that don't look very good. I'm 64. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know. Well, you don't look bad, though. Yeah, I know. You still got, uh, I see some terrible looking 65-year-olds over at that casino. <laughs> Well, they just sit there and smoke and do nothing all day. What do you expect? I mean, they're, they're really, uh, it was a rough generation, I'll tell you. Yeah. Those two that came to fix the toilet, they were both uh, those uh, speed addicts. They were out of Otis. <laughs> and all, all of them were toothless. Really? Yeah. Well, when they were our age, you know, maybe younger, about 10 years younger or so, but they looked bad, real bad. But, uh, yeah, Bob, other than that, he hasn't had a problem since then, and he uh, seems to be walking, he hasn't fallen since uh, a long time now. Well, that's good. It. He's not. See, I'm doling out the bottle to him one little fifth at a time. Yeah. A day. Instead, and he's not being able to drink, you know, like as much as he wants, like he was doing. He only drinks a fifth a day. Yeah, compared to a half gallon sometimes. A yeah. Day. And it's uh, he's making it last the whole day. Yeah, he was telling me he only drinks half of one. I knew that was bullshit. Doug, well, he's Dave doesn't want you to touch him or lick him. He's drinking half a bottle uh, of the big bottles, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, that's, I mean, that sounds like a lot, but I think for him it's not that bad. If no. you just eat something with it. And cottage cheese. He had me pick up cottage cheese, black olives. And uh, two deals of hot and spicy tomato juice. Well, that's good. At least but he he's not, he hasn't ate, he ate a little bit of all. He had me open up a can for him. And uh, I had to open up the tomato juice thing because he hasn't got the strength to open it now. Can you believe that? A guy in perfect health, not ever a broken bone. He's wasting away to nothing. I went to see the doctor yesterday, my first visit. Uh, here? Yeah. You got a new doctor? Yeah. Where at? A, Over at the hospital? It's 4422 Northeast uh, Devil's Lake Boulevard. Okay. Well, that's up by the hospital, isn't it's, it? No, it's in the same building oh, as that's DMV. 40. Yeah, that's like 40 something. I know where that is. I've been to the DMV. Yeah, I got the paperwork. I'm gonna fill it out and get a picture ID with this address on it. Are they gonna give you the drugs that you want? 
Uh, it sounds like she says, yeah, the doctor that I'm going to have you go to, I got an appointment to go see the doctor there. This was a, not a doctor, but a next thing to a doctor. And uh, she said that they do, she does uh, give out pain medicine. So hopefully I can get it from, through her. How was your trip up to Gresham? Terrible, 15 hours, bud. And I'm rushed, I can't make one mistake or I'm, I'll miss that bus back here. Doug, come here. So, yeah, it's been pretty, anyway, it's a mess in there. I hope that, Bob says that guy should be able to get it out of the carpet. But I took the scrub brush, I went up to Ace Hardware and got a scrub brush, long handle one and got some hot water and soap and was scrubbing that it. That just grinds it in. And then I used a shop vac and pulled it out. And I got, it looks a little better than it did, you know, where that, Bob says that guy should be able to get it all out. Well, the guy I had clean our carpet, it's called Seabright. It's right here in uh, Lincoln City. And yeah. they had like three or four guys and they had one of those power steamers. And, so if you get somebody that's good, they should be able to get it out. The problem with that carpeting though is it's white and it probably is going to be stained. You know, you could bleach it maybe, I don't know. They know, the carpet guys know how yeah. to do it. Uh, anyway, they're going to be coming tomorrow at anywhere from 10 to 11 o'clock. Another one was booked up till February. And they said, there's no way we can even get you in on a Sunday because we got all our people working overtime and on Sundays. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised when I got this one. And it's right here local. Well, if a guy shows up with a shot back, then you'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to God it isn't that way. I used to do that over here. Did you? I uh, uh, worked for a cleaning company and we uh, did carpeting. So, yeah, I did that kind of well, stuff. Well, you know what you're doing then. Yeah, you should have seen me. I had sweat pouring off my head, everything, just the scrub brush. You know, I was trying like hell to fucking get it all out. <laughs> Just damn near impossible, you know. The one thing, it sat in there for two days with uh, towels over it, yeah. so he wouldn't step in it. He had poop all over his leg and in his, on his foot. Oh my God. It's just like a horror story, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I would have called the paramedics again if it was me. Yeah, but the problem was he wasn't drunk. All he did, was, all he'd say is, I had an accident. Yeah. When he drinks that fifth, and it takes him all day to drink it, he doesn't get drunk like he was before. Right. That's the way he should be drinking. That's why I told him that if you just take it easy, you know, and just drag it out to the end of the day, you know, like that, 24 hours. And the only reason it's happening that way is because I'm doing it. I'm watching how much he drinks. Good. Just like he don't drive no more. Or attempt <laughs> yeah. to. Yeah, he can't drive. Well, that's sad that he's got himself into this, you know, and the anorexia thing is like, it's a real disease and sickness that people can't help. He's always been real picky with his food. He did that with mom's food. There's only certain things he would eat. Yeah. So we had the telltale signs that there was something not right, even then. Hey, Doug, how's that saltwater taste? Do you head her down there? Yeah, we just got back. We went down to 15th Street, you know where you drive down? Yeah, you had her in the water? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, she, we got, you know, we walked down to 15th, and then down, you know, where I drove you guys down there onto the beach. Yeah. And then the minute she saw that beach, man, she was just trying, tearing at the leash, trying to go. 
But there's some other people and stuff down there, so I had to get up a little bit past the rocks there, and I let her go, and she just went right in. And then I bought this thing, so I throw that out there, and then she can retrieve it. And I can see it, you know, yeah. in case she can't find it. She, we were down there for like an hour. I was up to here in the water, up to my knees. But these, my feet are still dry though. I got these, these are new boots I got. Huh. And if you tie them tight, these are waterproof. So... How far up do they go? Well, they, the pants, you know, they're just regular pants, but the water went up to here, but it didn't go inside of the boot because I'm tight. Huh. And so my feet are still dry. And, you know, I didn't get, I've got jeans Those on. They almost look like snow packs, but they're not, they ain't got the right lacing. For snow packs. They're just utility boots. Boy, those snow packs I bought up in Idaho when I lived up there. Yeah. God, those were nice. I mean, your feet were so comfortable. 30 below zero outside, you know, and I used to work in that, you know, tree trimming and stuff. Well, Please. these are just $35 boots, $37. Yeah. They're not anything Mine great. Mine weren't expensive either. Really? Yeah, but they were really comfortable. They had that inner lining. Yeah. Well, these have something inside. And it was good, they were really warm, let me put it that way. Your feet didn't, and I had a problem with my feet back then even, where they would get really cold, my hands and my feet. I've always had a problem with that. And uh, those snow packs were the best deal I ever bought for cold weather. What? You want to hit the road? Jeremy stopped by just when we were leaving. Huh? Jeremy, that guy that does that work for me. Oh, the handyman guy? Yeah. Is he back from Mexico? Yeah, he's been back. I, he, I had lunch with him last time I was here. Oh. He drove up. He was, hey, dog, come here. Come on. He was working in Depot Bay doing a putting a pantry in in Depot Bay that day. And then today he said he's working over in Nesco Inn for like three or four weeks doing two bathrooms or something. So he, I go, well, you can stay at my house if you want. He's like, no, you should see this place I'm working in. It's right on the friggin' beach. He said, you know, you look out the front door, the window, the tide is just right there. Oh, and that's the house he's and doing? He's working on that. He goes, those people are rich. <laughs> and he gets to stay there? Yeah, they let him stay. Well, when he painted my house up here, he just stayed here. Everywhere he works here at the coast, he just, because most of the houses are vacation homes or part-time, you know. Just a second, I'll be right back. All right. Are you wet and salty? casino giveaway when they gave away those trucks I was entered in it oh yeah and uh, some gal won it and she had to pick of a Silverado or a Colorado which one did she take she took the black Colorado I would have took the Silverado <laughs> and uh, it was because her husband wanted the Colorado and somebody told me what said yeah that's an elite player she always wins everything Elite player meaning she spends a lot of money there. This must she be always rich, wins huh? the prizes for some reason or another. It's because it's rigged. But anyway, I figured, well, this isn't a bad second prize. Oh, damn. Nice. Those are the two gals that were there, you know, with the guy in front 
handing out the prizes and they were assistants. Are you grabbing her ass or yeah. anything? See? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured, well, that's a good consolation prize. At yeah. least I can get a picture with those two. You should get a poster made out of it and put it in your room. Yeah. I think they do that at wherever, by Mart, probably. But they were really nice gals. But did you read the sign? One said naughty. Yeah. She told up the naughty. Another yeah. one said nice. That's funny. That was the theme for it. The white Silverado was the nice, and the black Colorado was the naughty <laughs> truck. Anyway, her husband wanted that one. She could hardly get in the black truck because she was pretty heavy set. Oh. Uh. And it was a lot smaller than the Silverado. Yeah. So how are your new you neighbors? You asked me, they should have gave away both of them. Yeah. You know, not just, you know, after she made her pick, they should have let somebody else win the other one. But, you know, they have, they call seven names. And they did that before on the $5,000 giveaway. They call out seven names, and it, it's on a computer, and it's uh, on a screen at, at large, and it shows a name being shown. And I haven't been in no seven, even. Not once. And uh, they were supposedly giving away 30000 a night, a day, up until New Year's. Mm. And I haven't gone over there once to see if I could win or not. You know, I've just been concentrate on getting everything straightened away here you know get it was quite a deal even getting the doctor yeah yeah Bob you know that caused me to a couple of days of fucking slaving away you know trying to get that shit smell out of the house it's finally gone. It's not too bad, Randy. I went in Bob's room and said, Randy's here and he was sleeping. And he goes, he is? And I said, do you want him coming in here? And he says, no, not really. And I thought maybe he'd walk out here, but he's probably too weak to come out. I don't think he wants you to see his room like that. I don't think I want to see it. All right, dog, we got to head back. I think Jeremy's going to come back. I told him that you were, in a, were thinking about leaving already. So maybe that's why he didn't come out. But see, he's had that new bottle in there for a while. He usually talks out. Now I wish we could get Bob back, you know? Yeah. Like Bob we knew. Yeah. I feel like I'm living alone here. Yeah. You know, this isn't what I signed the paperwork for. Right. So has he been able to get to the bank or anything? Huh? Has he been able to get to the bank or do anything? No. How does he pay his bills? Doesn't he have bills? No, I've got it all under... It comes out of mine. And it's all... I got them all set up for automatic pay. Oh, okay. So we don't have to worry about that. That's good. All right, dog, you ready? She barked at, she's a freak. She just doesn't get along with any dogs at all. So I was talking to Jeremy and his dog had his, her his face stuck out the window and I was petting her. She jumped up there and started growling. You know, she wanted really? to get in the truck and attack her. She's such a freak when it comes to dogs. But any I why she's that way with dogs. I don't know. She's just a psycho. She must have had a bad experience, you know. Yeah, I think she was, well, she was from Compton, and she was in a gang, and they fought a lot. Compton, California? Yeah. That's kind of a rough place. as yeah. much of meth places I, and stuff. I heard about that place. Well, that's where they, they got, you know, she got picked up, got put in jail, 
and then they're going to euthanize her and then those people that go and save dogs they brought her up to portland they rescued her yeah they said they usually didn't take um big dogs but and she was like really fat then i think she's eating out of garbage cans and stuff they didn't take big dogs but they um, said she was so good and friendly and see it's but with other dogs she's just a freak she just wants to fight huh. and so they saved her and then we adopt her dog come come no smoking she can't smoke all okay. right we gotta hoof it back up there all right thanks for stopping me. all right tell bob that I said hi and um, you know I'm sorry that he's not feeling well and I hope that he does feel better and then I'd like to come see him yeah well the carpeting's getting clean tomorrow so. all right well we'll be around again tomorrow afternoon I think okay, they said 10 and 11, be over here. all right take care